And in the aftermath of Bain's arrest, one longtime member of the Newtown community tells SNN's Jennifer Vegas how she feels about violence in her neighborhood. A series of nine shootings in the Newtown community since January, and four of them within the past eight days concerns law enforcement and residents. But one member of the Newtown community says this doesn't worry her about the safety of her or her family. And she says neighbors would say the same thing. If someone came in and broke my window, of course, I'm going to call the police and make a report. Teresa Richardson calls it a community divided. There's a new town and then there's a subset of people that's in Newtown after the power, the money and this and sex. A small group, the resident of 15 years, says runs on a system of social justice. People, quote unquote, they say, you know, street people. Newtown itself, which I would be one of those people, we go about our day very peaceful the way you you see it is now. This is this is how we live. Richardson is the aunt of 31 year old Travis Combs, a victim of homicide in August. It's like my son lost his life right next door to my house. Never getting answers, but knowing which side of the community is to blame. I already know how that works, so I'm not upset that no one has it came forth. I'm not upset that it's taken them this long to solve that crime because I understand code of silence with that subclass. Sarasota Police Department pushing for change, hosting a Stop the Gun Violence seminar next Thursday. But Richardson says that's not enough. Get a relationship, personal relationship with these people. Go in and find out what's going on with them. Why do they feel like they need to commit the crimes that they're committing? Until then, she's made her peace calling it home. This is where I prefer to stay. And yes, I guess you say nine shootings it doesn't affect me because it does not affect Newtown that I live in. In Newtown, Jennifer Vegas, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.